Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today I'm just going to be doing a very purple eyeshadow look. So if you'd like to see how I created this look then please keep watching. So I don't usually go in with this but my skin is super dry at the moment because I've been using my face cream. That gets rid of my pimples. So for today I'm going to be using my Tarte Char, the Silk Canvas. I usually only use this for special occasions but when my skin is screaming for help, I believe that that is a special occasion. Now I know a little bit of this does go a long way, but my skin feels like a bloody desert, so. Hence why your girl is going in. Like even with that amount of product, I still feel like my face isn't fully, I know, covered. Because my dry skin has just sucked it all up. You can see that super dry patch right there. I'm just going to go in with a tiny bit also of my Benefit Professional, even though the Tarte is um, pore filling. I just want to help make my skin look as nice as it can, considering how dry it is. Okay, for foundation today, I'm just going to be using my Kat Von D Lock It Foundation. If you watched my last video, I used this in that video. I hadn't used it in quite a long time so I'm just going to go in with that when I used this the other day I realized just how long lasting it actually is like she certainly calls it locket for a reason generally I get bad creasing around like these smile lines here and like a little bit under the eyes and on my forehead where I raise my eyebrows. But this foundation creased like the tiniest bit. Like generally by the end of putting on, just like any other foundation, I've already creased. It's already settled into my lines around my mouth. But with this, it was like it had settled less after a few hours than what any other foundation that I have has settled in by the end of just putting on my foundation, if that makes sense. <laughs> Basically what I'm trying to say is it was really long lasting. The only thing though is that it does feel quite thick and like sticky. Moving on to contour, I'm just taking my Clinique Curvy Contour Chubby Stick I've never tried this on top of this foundation before, so hopefully it blends out easy enough. Okay, yeah, this foundation feels super thick and sticky. Moving on to concealer, I am going to use two today because my shape tape is too light as we've already figured that out so I'm just going to using, be using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Vanilla and then I'm just using a little dot of my shape tape just on top of that my face feels so sticky I can't wait to set it all right, and lastly, to set my face, I'm using my Face of Australia Translucent Setting Powder, if it wants to open. I'm just going to set anywhere that I get creasing. I really like to push my translucent powder into the skin to help like, really set it and lock it in. I'm just going to take a bit more translucent powder and just set the rest of my face and also kind of dusting off any excess translucent powder. If you can hear that, I just put my fan on because this room is starting to get a little hot. So for my powder contour, I'm just taking my Hoola Benefit and then I'm just going to deepen up where I put that cream contour. It's 
sunny day here in Perth today so I can get away with looking a bit bronzy and because I'm feeling a bit bronzy today I'm just gonna take my Bare Minerals Invisible Bronze the one that brings up my texture but today I couldn't care less and I'm just gonna go kind of over where I put that hula tiny bit under the chin and actually I don't usually wear blush as you know but that brush that I got from Australis the other day is stunning so I'm just gonna take a BYS tapered blusher and just pop a tiny bit on the cheeks so that you can kind of just see it and just to help keep my foundation on all day sometimes at this point after I've powdered everything, I'll just go in with a bit of setting spray. So while that's drying, I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows. And to fill in my eyebrows, I'm just taking my Chi Chi Brow Pomade in the shade Taupe. I was almost going to stop filming this video because of how crazy my eyebrows have turned out. Like, look at that arch. Where did that come from? I'm just going to quickly set these and then we'll move on to eyeshadow. I was just looking at my eyeshadow, not my eyeshadow, my eyelids and they look super cakey. Can you see that? And I assume that's just because my eyelids are dry and all the products aren't really working well because that has happened before. So I can't really put it down to like one exact product. But nonetheless, I shall proceed and try hide these cakey lids under some bright purple eyeshadow. Just going to pop on a tiny bit of lip balm because my lips are getting dry. Alright, so for my eyeshadow, I'm taking my Morphe 35P. She looks like this. As you all know, purple works amazing on green eyes so for a transition shade actually I'm just going to take a big fluffy brush this is just a setting brush by Real Techniques I'm just going to take this kind of off white colour here and just pack this all over the lid to help these blend out considering how dry patchy and gross my eyelids are right now they're not usually like this unless I use my face cream. Alright, and taking a fluffy blending brush, I'm just using the Zoeva 228 Lux Crease. I'm just going to take this kind of creamy light brown shade here and just sweep that through the crease and blending upwards just as a transition. Hopefully these pigments hold on because these lids need hiding. Okay, and next, taking that same brush, I'm just going to take this kind of light pinky purple here. <sighs> Dusting that off quite a bit, just in case it comes out really pigmented which is coming out a lot more pig pigmented than that last colour. It's looking nice. And the same on the other side. Okay, and taking a smaller blending brush, I'm using the 231 Luxe Petite Crease by Zoeva. I'm just going to start deepening up that purple, so I might go in with this shade here. It's very similar, but just like a shade darker than that last purple one that I had. And I'm just going to start deepening up this outer V. This is getting a bit tricky to blend considering how dry my eyelids are. So just bear with me here. This may take a lot of blending. Just 
going back in with my blending brush. As you all know, I like to blend as I go. And then next, taking a small pencil brush. This is the 230 Lux Pencil by Zweva. As we all know, I love Zweva brushes. And then I'm just going to take this dark purple here. Very lightly. And then again, just slowly deepening up that very out of V. went in with a bit of this next pebble up also just to further deepen up the outer V all right and then going back in with the smaller blending brush I'm going to blend these edges out And then taking the first blending brush that we used, just further again blending. And going back in with a small pencil brush, I'm just going to take this dark brown here, so like the darkest brown in the palette. And then I'm just going to pack that on just a little bit. Going back in with that like medium sized blending brush, I'm just going to take a tiny bit of this purple here. Dusting up the excess just to help us blend that dark brown. I don't want to take this high up, I just want to keep it on that very outer V. Going back in with my blending brush, I'm just going to take a tiny bit of that cream and a tiny bit of that first purple and then just blend together again. All right, onto the fun part. So you just want to take a flat kind of packer brush and choose your purple. I'm going to use this one here. You see I have gouged into it. And I'm just going to spray my brush with some Fix Plus. And then I'm going to pack that on my brush. And then this is going to go in like the middle of the lid and then the inner corner I'm going to do a light purple. Mmm, honey, look at that. I love this colour. You can see why I've gouged into it so much. And just blending it slightly into that dark brown. And towards the inner corner. It's really like um, reflective and it's almost got like a blue undertone to make it like you know really purple. Okay and going back in with that tiny pencil brush I'm just gonna blend these two together a bit more. And then taking another clean blending brush, I'm just going to take a tiny bit of that same purple shade, the one that I've gouged into, really dusting off the excess, and then I'm just going to blend this edge here. Okay, and for the inner corner going to take a tiny little packer brush and then I'm going to be using this really light shimmery purple here so again I'm going to spray that with a bit of fix plus 
So just taking this really shimmery purple. Again, you can see that I've gouged into that one. Just gonna apply this right in that inner corner. Look how shiny that is. That's why I love it. When I first got this palette about a year and a half ago, every time I went out with my friends or with my partner, like we went to the city clubbing or just basically wherever I did this exact look like for weekends on end it was this purple this shimmery color in the inner corner like this exact look I loved it I was obsessed now for the lower lash line I'm just gonna take just a clean fluffy brush and I'm just going to take this purple here, this light purple, we'll see how that goes. Dusting off the excess and just sweeping that from outer corner to inner corner. I don't like having a really dark lower lash line for most looks unless it's super dramatic. I just like to have just a flush of colour just to tie the look together just so that my lower lash line isn't plain all right and for a tiny bit of brow bone highlight I'm just going to take another small flat shader brush and just take this shade here it's like a shimmery light very light gold I'm just going to pop that just along the highest point of my brow for highlight today I'm using my Tardist Pro to Go Pro to Glow palette Pro Glow to Go wow I've always been saying that wrong Whoops. and in here just taking this shade Burst it's a goldy champagne highlight, current fave. Look at that. I should probably add a bit more on this side here then. Like that's almost white. <laughs> I didn't mean to put that much on, but I'm rolling with it. It looks stunning. I'm just gonna go in with my finger and highlight my cupid's bow. I love this highlight. What the hell? Wiping off that tiny bit of highlight. Now, for lipstick, I'm going in my Chi Chi Matte Lipstick in the shade Checkin' In. I love that. I've finally found the perfect nude to suit my skin tone. It's not pink undertone. It's not brown undertone it's like peach undertone and that, that's what I needed now for mascara for my bottom lashes Maybelline Velocal Maybelline Velocal Maybelline Colossal Volume Express so for lashes today I'm just going to be taking some Callisto Beauty lashes if you saw my video or two videos ago, you would see that I tried the Frankie Synthetic, actually no, I think they're Silk Lashes. 
I wasn't too phased on these. I didn't think they were as amazing as what they looked, but today I'm going to be trying these synthetic lashes. So there's five different styles in here. There is top to bottom, autumn, sage, winter, Samara, and Asteria. So for today's look, I think I might use these top ones here, something a little, a little more dramatic. Hopefully these go on easy enough. Okay, let's see how these go. So because these lashes are really long, I cut the band a lot shorter than what I usually, well not a lot shorter, but probably like a couple millimeters shorter than what I usually would. Because if I were to cut this as long as what I usually would, you see this inner corner lash here, it's almost touching my nose like if I go like that it is touching my nose so if I'd cut that where I usually would that would have just irritated me the whole night same with this end here like the lash itself is a bit shorter than what I usually would have placed it but because the lashes are so long and they stick out so far it's fine now I don't recommend doing this but just going to take some little scissors and cut these lashes here a tiny bit shorter just so that they don't irritate me throughout the night these are definitely better than the frankie lashes i tried the other day but i do want to try the frankie lashes again and i will because i spent money on them and i don't want to let them go to waste And lastly, I'm just going to blend my lashes in with some mascara now that my lashes have dried. So today I'm helping my mum make cupcakes for like my niece's school to help raise money. And I was supposed to be there like at 11. I said I'd be there at 11. It's currently 11.15 and... It takes about 40 minutes to get to my mum's house. So mum, if you're watching, this is why I'm late. And also the fact that I woke up really tired and I was like, mm, maybe I'll film when I get home. And then I got up, had breakfast and I was like, no, I'll film now. So that's also why I'm late. I mean, a look like this doesn't take 10 minutes. <laughs> and lastly, to set my face, just another spritz of setting spray. Small light spritz. Kidding, I'm almost drowning. So here is my completed purple eyeshadow look. It's very flattering on green eyes, as we all know by now. If you did enjoy this video and you love the look that I created, please make sure that you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. Even turn on the little notification bell. And I can't wait to see you all in another video.